new from second sight films on 4K as Possessor from 2020. Uh, I loved this movie when I first saw it when it came out, directed by Brandon Cronenberg, and it's all about a corporate assassin. A corporate assassin that, due to brain implants, can transfer her personality into somebody else's body and take out targets that otherwise she couldn't get close to. It's a great plot, isn't it? Before we dive into that, let's have a look at the contents inside this package. So here we are with the box set for Possessor from Second Sight Films. Move this to the side and have a look at the J card, where we have the special features and the limited edition contents. Here is the box art for this release with the little butterfly token in the back. Here we have the discs. A wonderful image from the film itself. The soul being sucked out, it looks like. 4K and the Blu-ray. Here is the 120-page book that's included in this one. As you can see, there's lots of content here. My favourite, and this is the short list to um, comparison, uh, which is coming up at some point. Just in a little second, you'll see some of them showing the, the sort of comparisons between what they had listed down and what they actually filmed, but these sequences here, so with 30 pages of that, which is terrific, as well as some great essays as well. Here we have six art cards which are included within this edition as well. We've got some scenes from the movie and some of the art as well. And that's the extras for the limited edition set of Possessor. In Possessor, we have Andrea Riseborough who plays Voss, uh, one of these elite assassins who can transfer her consciousness into someone else. Um, but it plays with a lot of the thematics with this, with this idea of puppetry, of taking over someone's personality, of almost voyeurism and being able to do, or being uninhibited by anything, being able to do whatever you want while you are almost controlling that person like a puppet there is some strange and playful thematics there and it's explored throughout the film and it's one of my favorite facets of this one just keep me in really deep because i don't want any problems sure miss force i'll keep you in nice and deep you just make sure you pull the trigger on the way out at the start you see voice as she is committing a crime now you get the idea that she's supposed to shoot this person but she takes a knife stabbing them multiple times almost reveling in the blood flow and the damage and in the carnage that she's caused and there's an idea from this character that there is a complete disconnect happening from her uh, in reality she is enjoying this world that almost feels make-believe that feels very different that offers much more possibilities than her mundane life her child her ex-husband that kind of life is just all going through the motions the idea of being able to invade someone else's life, to do something that's high risk and exciting, to do something that in all other walks of life she couldn't really do or get away with, she has that possibility. And that excitement keeps drawing her back into the workplace. Why stab Elio Matza? You were provided with a pistol. Everything kind of takes a turn when she is tasked with infiltrating uh, Tate a man who is dating the, the daughter of a wealthy entrepreneur played by Sean Bean that is going to be the next target. But when she moves into this person's body, there is a stronger mind there than she expects and it becomes a battle of wills at a certain point for her to really keep control, take control and, and get out of this situation without leaving behind any trace that she has been there or what has been going on. And it offers up all kinds of possibilities. Again, but there are many terrific sequences within possessors that are just jaw-dropping uh, that, that just captivate that offer wonderful visual uh, motifs the idea of how they change the consciences how they push one from her body into the body of the next kind of victim is wonderfully done with these incredible visuals uh, and it's a great shorthand just to show you the idea of of the consciousness moving from one person to another. I think it's a terrific visual myself uh, and really gets across that idea. Blood 
and death within this one never comes easy. And it's always in stilted sequences. It'll be a quiet room. There'll be nobody around. There'll be almost clinically white uh, furnishings around the place, which are going to be tarnished as the, as an eruption of violence and blood as it spews forth, tainting everything, including uh, our protagonist in this one, as she kind of plays about with the remnants of her kilts. It's shocking. Uh, and again, it has this kind of real-world look of... Um, a lack of impact about it. You know, it just becomes... It's another task for this person. Infiltrate this body. Get to know this person. Kill this person in a bloody fashion. Escape from the, the situation. It's nothing out of the ordinary. It's just another task to be completed. Which voice is going to cross off her list before escaping from this situation? <laughs> Eddie! Eddie! Oh. Possessor is a wonderfully twisted and fun movie. It's got some great actors doing some wonderful performances. Christopher Abbott is great. Jennifer Jason Lee turns up for a small role. You get Sean Bean, who is terrific as well. Andrea Riseborough is absolutely fantastic in the main role of Voss. And you're thrown into this twisted world of voyeurism of controlling, of of losing your mind, of becoming something else, of losing all inhibitions. And it's a wonderful film that leaves you with terrific themes and ideas as it goes on. And as just a piece of entertainment, it works incredibly well, delivering some uh, really memorable moments throughout the film. I love Possessor. I think it's a terrific movie and one that definitely needs to be discovered more. Let's dive into the disc and have a look at some of the extras. Here we are in the disc for Possessor. Let's go to the extras. First up, we've got a commentary with Brandon Cronenberg, Rob Cottrell, Karim Hussein, and Dan Martin. Then we have The Unfamiliar Life, an interview with the writer and director, which is 21 minutes, three seconds, talking about creating a short film, going through about 30 drafts of the script, trying to get uh, financing in place for this, how it took eight years between antiviral and making Possessor. Inside the Machine, interview with the DOP, Karim Hussein, which is 27 minutes, 5 seconds. He talks a lot about the constant changing scripts. Uh, he's been attached to this project, loving working with Cronenberg, uh, and just looking forward to actually getting the film into production. Feel the Real, interview with producer Rob Cottrell, which is 24 minutes, 1 second. He talks a lot about the financing, how they had several false starts, uh, almost getting to production several times and how it was kind of struggled to get there. Disassociating from mind and body, Zoe Rose Smith on Possessor, which is 24 minutes 18 seconds and uh, focuses a lot on the two main characters, the kind of parallels in their story. <coughs> the depersonalisation of their characters throughout it. Then we have some camera test footage, which is 6 minutes 1 second, just looking at some of the trippy photography that they could possibly use within the film. FX Show and Tell with Dan Martin is 10 minutes 25 seconds, and it's basically just running through a lot of the prosthetics and gimmicks that they would use on the film. We have Archival Feature, A Heightened World, A Look at Possessor, which is 10 minutes 27 seconds. Another archival featurette, Identity Crisis, Bringing Possessor to the Life, which is 14 minutes 59 seconds. And another archival feature, The Joy of Practical, which runs at 12 minutes 8 seconds. These all feature cast and crew just talking about the film. You may have seen this previously. We also have Deleted Scenes, which run 8 minutes and 11 seconds. And they're all high quality, um, but probably just removed for pacing issues. Then we have the short film, Please Speak Continuously and Describe Your Experiences as They Come to You. The precursor for Possessor, which runs at 9 minutes 32 seconds. And then there is a trailer, and that's the extras for Possessor. There we have it, another winner from Second Sight Films. Possessor is terrific. Um, it's one that, I don't know if it's for everyone, but 
it's a really great movie and give it a chance i think you might enjoy this one i would love to know if you've seen it or not so please drop a comment give some other opinions of this film let me know whether you love it hate it or whether you fall somewhere in the middle whether you're picking this edition up i would love to know and as always there is more content up here you can see more of my stuff in the description box below are links to patreon membership program and manvfilm.com always in which you can support me thanks for watching and i'll see you next time